Um, here's uh, Gary. Gary, you're on the run of Fez show. Oh, yeah, bro. Uh, good morning. Uh, I kind of find it ironic that Fez is bragging out he was going to leave the country if things didn't go his way. Fez has never done anything he says he's going to do in his life. Uh, like yeah, I think I did. On the couch. Yeah, I called the election state for state and put my citizenship on the line. No, you, you talked it. You, it's not action. You can talk all you want, but you've never done anything. Well, physically. bullshit. Well, why don't we do this? Uh, let's do impromptu match game. Oh, impromptu shit. match game. Uh, play me the song. Make sure, uh, Polo, you're in on this. Johnny, you're in on this. Okay. And this is going to be a special one. You're going to have to match me, the celebrity, to be the $10,000 all-time match game champion. Oh, give me that cash. And a chance to return next week. Uh, and then later I want to talk to Johnny about his friend, Tebow. <laughs> Tim? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hanging with Tebow. Why I'm hanging with Mick and Keith. Holy shit. I was at a chiropractor's office. It's like we're all having a good time. All right. Uh, Polo, Johnny, and uh, be ready. And, of course, Chris Stanley, be ready to um, write down your answer. Fez Watley would be best described as a blank. As a blank. Fez Watley is best described as a blank. Got it. I didn't even know Spez is playing his own game. Okay. <laughs> That's good. Now, remember, you have to match me to be the $10,000 winner and your chance to return. All right. Uh, Fez, what is your answer? Openly gay man. Openly gay man. Hard Rock Johnny, Fez Watley is best des- described as a blank. Mo. As a mo. <laughs> so evil. Uh, Chris Stanley? Simply a gay. Simply a gay? And, and a gay. And a gay. Well, you, <laughs> it seems like everybody Definitely has matched each other. Let's see if they match me. Come on. Give it uh, of course, you'll get the ding if it's correct and the big at eh if you're incorrect. And everybody here is because Fez Watley, the song, please. Fez Watley has is best described as a motherfucking bold-faced liar. Oh, shit! What happened? And I got this from his roommate, Paul O. Are you guys ready for this? I, I, I fucking give it to me. Come on. Grab your fucking nuts about what he's been lying to us about. I got my dick right here. <laughs> there is, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, there is no cat. What the what? fuck? He dumped his cat and never once told us. No! And this is a series. The latest in a series of passive-aggressive lies from our own Fez Watley. What happened to the cat? Let me say this. I even went back and checked dates of him telling us cat stories of, oh, I have some, I'll put the cat in this place. Remember when people went to take care of the cat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had no cat during all that. (laughs) This is fucked up! I don't know what is keeping me from throwing everything in this room at Fez right now. What if he's going into the nut hut? That's all we were talking about was how's his cat going to be taking care cat while he's away? The week before I went to the nut hut, I went to Niagara Falls and took the cat to my aunt. Yeah, sure. We okay. all have heard the story uh-huh. of the cats living on a farm upstate. Yeah. The oh, they're happier up there, right? They're prancing around hunting mice. Do you know how many women were panicking at the thought that Fez went into the nut hut and wasn't uh, didn't have a cat handler, and he told us that he put it in a fucking cage and, at the vet's Kennel, office and all that? Fuck. Yeah, whatever you call that. It was a lie. Lie this upon lie insane. upon lie. I was embarrassed. I thought I was you know in what? a bad that, mental shape, and that, I thought people would come down on me for getting rid of the cat. I, I only call you that. But first of all, we know you have no loyalty to anything, so that's not a fucking problem. Oh, that you treat cat. that cat like it was me. But B, why lie? Why be a fucking liar? Jesus H. Christ. Do you know how much better off you are with Polo? 
in your life, forcing these things back out this again. Is, First of all, he introduces them to all kinds of fancy gays that Fez has never met. And now told us the truth. And fucking, while I'm walking last night, he just goes, there's no cat, sir. There's no cat. <laughs> Thank God for Paulo. Paulo, please don't leave. You can't fucking, not after this fucking bombshell. Come on, that was your cat for years. You can't just give it away. Uh, or at least not say it on the air. And beyond that, to boldface lie <laughs> yeah. and have women petrified the whole time he's in the nut hut that the cat isn't eating. Oh, my God. I was feeling very guilty about it, but I you wanted should, to hey, get rid of the cat. Hey, you should be guilty. Fuck yeah. Because you are guilty. And, and then B, you have zero guilt in you. You only have shame and lies. That's what you live with. What? And this is the long-lasting fucking thing of, you know, we all try to fucking help Fez, but he lies. So there's no way. And that's why we can't meet his shrink, because he lies to his shrink. This is all. And he doesn't want us to tell the truth. There is a fucking web of mistrust, lying, insanity. Well, what else is he lying about? Everything. Yeah. What, else? what else does he fucking do? Everything. But that's the problem with therapists, because they only get this one hour, whatever, a month or a week or whatever it is. Do you remember when I was saying, Fez, I will have Kokomo stay at your house for a week and feed your cat? Yep. And he allowed me to sit and try to figure out things that didn't even exist. That is, <laughs> that is madness, and it's a madness caused by lies. This is why we don't have our fucking football fucking fantasy league. Well, except for the pretend one that Hicks is in. <laughs> because we can never have any truth. It's constant <sighs> lies. And that's why the answer, I would have given out, if you guys would have thought a little bit, easily $10,000 is to a motherfucking bold-faced fucking liar. You sure it wasn't Mo? I had the inside track on that too. Mo, no. I'll give everybody a dollar that said no. That's not a problem. I'll do it on Friday. I'm gonna come in Friday. I'll go collect my dollar. Here's Sean in Cincinnati. You're on a Fez. Ronnie, yeah. his dad's not dead, is he? Oh, yeah. I, my father There's no reason away. to fucking believe what? that. Now this just thing. got to me. I never saw the body. Well, I can't produce umbrella? that. It was turned into ashes, and then was, sure. it? was it, or was this just another gypsy fucking scheme to steal an umbrella? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Pat, you're on the Run Fez show. Didn't a couple years ago, before he came out of the closet, didn't he say he had a girlfriend in Buffalo too? Yeah, he had a girlfriend in Niagara Falls, Canada, where supposedly. The cat is now living. Oh, that cat's dead. Oh, my God. That cat really is dead as Dillinger. I don't believe anything. Let me ask you this. Is he really gay? Yes. Is that a lie? No, he's not. He's never done a gay act. He's not gay. Whoa! <laughs> that's 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 where he lives with you. From, asshole. He lives with you. I'm just saying you have to... Make that leap. I mean, there's no question that gay that he believes very firmly that he's gay, but I still believe that that until that act is is consummated, penetration. <laughs> I guarantee you, there's dudes out there that have fucking jacked off to Johnny Depp and go, well, at least I'm not gay. You know what I mean? At least I didn't do anything. <laughs> I thought you were going to say to Johnny Hard Rock, thank you for taking this at the end. <laughs> they are now because your stone's thin. Um. <laughs> Here's Murph. Murph in Georgia. You're on the Hey, boys. Hey, Fez, yeah. I got two things. Uh, one, there is no therapist, is there? Yes, there is. And hey, I bet you, you, you could take a shit in, in Niagara Falls. <laughs> that was also a lie. Oh, yeah. There was that was a on. huge problem. No, it it's wasn't. a lie. Fez, look at me, and I'm saying this as it a fucking complete, a complete shoot. I don't believe anything you say anymore. <laughs> it's lies. And I don't care if you lie to the listeners. You're supposed to. But to me, <laughs> but to me, th this is a complete break. Um, and here's who I feel sorry for, too, that's writing in. Liz Sets Fire says, what the fuck did he do to the cat? I'm going to lose my shit today. She was one of the, the girls. It was the girls worried about the cat. See, girls and children, they love animals. And men, we like steak. 
That's mm, the animal that animals, we like. Yeah. yeah. Oh, delicious. I used to always say to my mom, can I get a pet steak? And believe me, I'll take care of it. I'll fucking take it right off. Finish it. No, 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 honey, it's Friday. Fish or pancakes? Oh, come on. And hey, Ted's whole personality is unraveling, too. I mean, he's he's calling people pussies, but it's not okay to call people fags? What's that all about? Well, this that's the way, when you call him a pussy, you're being anti-woman. That's, yeah, right. He's all, he's all for that. <laughs> Was there really a big black guy named Donut? No. Yes. No, there wasn't. No one believes who, you. Who walked in my room in the mental hospital in the Fez. middle of the night? Fez. Were you really at the mental hospital? Yes. You're a liar. I and you lied even the on the way back, like, oh, man, I am so ready. And then the fo- when you got back, you had fucking nothing. D- you've had one thing work for you, and that's the man that I like to call Pauly Truth that has been living with you. And I'm going to say again, please don't leave, Paul. I, I understand. I, I'll try to sell the house as quickly as I can. Please. And, if, and uh, you know, frankly, this is a difficult process for Fez. All of this, I mean, the, the facing the truth of his lies is, in fact, a difficult process for him and that he really needs to work through. He needs somebody you know to... What, you know who you're like right now? And this is... And I'm saying, you're Jack Nicholson in anger management. <laughs> you have taken this fucking liar and you're exposing his truths. And I thank you for it. And believe me, the process just got started. We, we had to push aside our museum walk for the stones. Yeah, well, that... Well, <laughs> it's not bad. Um, Mark, you're on the Run of Fez show. Yeah, Fez, um, are you really gay? Yes. No, you're not. I think you're lying about that, too. You've done as many gay acts as Chris Stanley. Now, if we sat here and said... Zero. One. <laughs> I think you have to have to get to the point of sucking balls, and then you can say it. <laughs> Why does anybody Why want to balls suck on her? <laughs> We're not talking about a nibbling kiss here. We're talking about sucking in a nut. That that's a very ball. specific Suck rule. It. That's the, that's the rule of the gay. That's yeah. yeah. But the, uh, believe me, the other person's like, hey, hey, easy, careful, easy, careful. I have a cousin with one nut from fucking around on a bike. Huh? Um, here's Lady Trucker. You're on a fez. Yeah, I just dialed eight six six round zero. Bold fucking liar. Oh, oh shit! Yeah. Damn yo. You know, I, I'm, I'm just so sad now, you know. I, I'm a full Then it was liar. worth it. You know what? I just want to say something. The ONA show has labeled me the puppet master because they think that I, behind the scenes, will make all these things happen. Well, who is the puppet master of the puppet master? The lying Fez Watley. The non gay, catless, heterosexual man. I'm fucking blown away. Who lied for 15 months about where he lived. Everything he says is a lie. And lied for months about this cat. Of course. Oh, I feel sorry for that cat. Uh, I feel sorry for us. Brian, you're on the Run of Fez show. Fezzy, it's time to tell the truth. You've been watching movies, right? Look, let me just say this. I'm fu- and I, it All was right. out of my mind last night during the catwalk. Remember the other day when I said, oh, Fez, you would hate Spider-Man, and he was, and I gave him the oh, plot yeah. points, he was like, oh, God, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Paulo said to me, he's seen Spider-Man. <laughs> what the fuck? Motherfucker! All of it's lies! Man, You're a fucking liar! You're a fucking liar! You're a fucking liar! You're a fucking liar! You're a fucking crazy! You're a fucking liar, dude! I'm going to the nut hut! This is fucked up! I can't! And won't protect you anymore. You're a goddamn liar. Fucking shit. <laughs> we can't help you because you lie. You're unhelpable. I think these are things that Ron should know. I didn't want to breach anything that I thought was, like, really important. Thank you, Paulo. But, I mean, they... Paulo, this is so fucking helpful. Please don't leave him. <laughs> Please don't leave you that fucking leave. liar. You can't do it. I mean, I, I truly believe the movie thing started this weekend. I don't ah, believe bullshit. it. I do. You just happen I to have seen him. I believe it. Bullshit. Was he sitting next to you watching? Was he just like, oh, my God, I can't believe it. Was he really locked in? Yeah, he was. Thank you. Thank you, Polo. I knew it. So how was the fucking last Batman movie? Hey, wait. Let's go back to thinking of how stupid I looked the other day when I was telling him things. And he was yelling, oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Oh. He had already seen it. And that's when Paul, as soon as I had a couple moments alone with Paul Lowe last night, and it's the first time since, 
He rattled. And Fez was waiting for us fl- five blocks away. Oh, shit. And he's rattling things that Fez does to me. <laughs> That's a real friend. He's not rattling. He never things. said he's a fucking friend. He's a life coach. Because... Why would you want him to fucking lie, too? To be in your world that's of lies. I never asked him to lie. But that's because no, he, he didn't. He did not. But you're saying that's a real friend. The fucking truth is, you're going to bring up friends in front of me, in front of Chris, guys that have been covering for you while you continue to lie? I'm disgusted. I got this bad back. It's fucking killing me. I got to hear this. He's watching movies. There's no cat. What the fuck is going on? Oh, God. Fucking chiropractors don't even give out pills. Be- that cat's dead, dude. That fucking cat got this murdered. That makes me sad. That cat was really nice. That, that cat was great. great. It was so nice when it came in that cookie day. Children memorial for it. But now that we know this problem, I, I think it can be dealt with. Problem. You know what? Let let us be in shock for a moment. Mm-hmm. Let us uh, fucking grasp our feelings before we go back to what we worry about every day. Fixing feds. <laughs> There's, okay. no, there's nothing Instead, wrong. Instead, we go back to fucking acting like, oh, Fez, what are you going to do? But you're a good person, too. And you're going to be able to meet people. No. And just let us know that while we're doing that, he fucking lies to us constantly. Now, that might be his mental problem. I'm not saying it's not. If it was up to me. I'd shoot him in the neck with a dart. And let them fucking take him away and he'd never be seen again. Okay, I was under pressure. I had one week to, to make an impact. What we need you to do is be there for a lifetime, Paul. You're the best thing that ever happened to So him. I couldn't hold back in any way. You shouldn't. No, you this did the right thing. This is the place that we need. This, You know what? This has been a house of lies. Mm-hmm. We've got to burn it down and build a house of honesty. Mm-hmm. It's the true. only way to do it, man. It's true. And And believe me. Fez will be happier for it. He well, will. Well, you know, right now I don't give a shit. I just need to say something to him. Fez, you're lying. You're a constant lying. And I know something awful has happened to this cat. Yes. And I identify with that cat now because I feel like you treat that cat like you treat me. It's the same thing. That's all I'm saying, Polo. Mm-hmm. Well, look, I was here for Fez this week. Now I can go back to my horrible don't. death don't march. Leave yeah, to, good don't time, leave right? us or else the fucking lines my, start up my again. My march to uh, oblivion, since there is no God, apparently, according to certain people. Um, all right, people are writing. Go, uh, Queen Elizabeth wrote, Fez is living with a very much alive dad. I don't know if anything was ever fucking real. My dad is dead, bar- uh, cremated, and buried. Nobody believes you. No one believes you. We just think that you took another fucking three weeks off then for no reason. Oh, man. What the fuck? I can't. This is so shitty. It's unbelievable. And I was planning my first gay Christmas present for him this year. Oh, don't just feel that. Because you don't know now. I mean, it's anything. Yeah, but it is a, it is a holiday. Mm. Yeah, but is it just going to sit on the shelf unused? You know what, Paul? Again, thank you for being here. Because <laughs> you, you remind me that my kindness by Fez is seen as weakness. It's like what gypsies do. You know, they act like their leg fucking hurts. You take them inside, and while you're cooking them a meal, they're fucking going through your goddamn money. Scumbags. Gypsies, tramps, and thieves. That's fucking the Fez Watley story. Um, I can't understand it. I don't know what I did to deserve this. Obviously something. Here's our friend John Amass. Yeah, Fez, did you really give the cat away or did you have it put to sleep? Did you murder the fuzzy, defensive, defenseless little animal? Well, here's the only thing, John. Uh, why would we believe what he had to tell us? I'm going to assume that the cat is missing and assumed dead. That poor cat's dead. Uh, Why wouldn't he? Do you know how many listeners asked for the cat? They wanted the cat. It saved its fucking life and now it's just dead. It was a nice cat. Fez, every day we pass by the puppy store and he stops and looks. Yeah, they kill another. They kill again. (laughs) Like fucking Dexter. I bet there's like a little fucking slide down there with cat blood on it that Fez gets out and jacks on. That's creepy, Fez. 
Uh, Mark, you're on the Run of Fez show. Ronnie, you fell for the long con. It finally happened. Fez is the Connie, you're the Rube. You know what? I am the fucking room. I'm the Mark on the fucking Midway. We're all Rubes. Here I am, a fucking farmer, cotton candy in one hand, fucking balloon in the other. He's the puppet master. Fucking looking at all the shiny lights and yeah. look, not even paying attention that my wallet's being lifted. Don't surprising. look behind the curtain. I wouldn't even be surprised if the reason why your neck hurts is because Fez is slowly poisoning you. Yeah, thanks for the fucking neck poison, Fez. It's great. I can't even sleep at night. And every fucking night he's back there. The fool's. That asshole Bennington asking me about my cat again. I care for that cat as about as much as I do for him and his shitty show. <laughs> oh, evil laugh. And then poof, he was gone. <laughs> they kill all our friends and family. The greatest thing the devil ever did was convincing people he was gay. And then poof, he was gone. <laughs> I can't even fucking stand to look at him right now. I can't even stand to look at him. His fucking therapist is like Kobayashi over here. I mean, what the fuck? I can't even stand to look at him. Yeah, it, it is a shame I didn't sit in on the therapy session. Oh, that There's was... probably no fucking therapist. There's nothing. I, I did see a, a large uh, grouping of pill bottles, though. So I'm I... sure. Hell yeah. He fucking Selling, needs that eating. every time the, every time his morality starts to scream at him as he's trying to get to sleep at night. Shut it off for pills. Uh, Tom and Philly, you're on the Run of Fez show. Yeah, I, I've always felt that uh, Fez is lying about being gay. I think he's always considered himself to be different and was so desperate to put a label on it that he just says, well, I guess I'm gay. <sighs> you're right, my friend. You're right. Well, then that's a waste of gay porn on my computer. Just covering. You are. You're just covering. There's no Russian rape porn. You're a liar, Fess. It Kobayashi, when he had to put on that limp, that was a lot of effort. Sure. Willing to do the work for the long con. Yeah. Hey, it worked, right? He got out. Let me just ask you this, Polo. Mm -hmm. Did he always hate me? Is that what this is about? Never. Or was I just somebody to fucking, you know... Look, it's not easy being Fez. And I think the lies that he tells you are different than the lies he tells me. So, I mean, right. I can't Holy say... Holy shit. All right, we will break. That is deep. Yeah, we're going to break here. And I'm going to go throw up. I'll join you. Because Can I throw up alone? No. No, we should do this together. I don't like having... It's somebody... like a private thing. <laughs> really? It's fucking funny to you, Fez? Seriously? This is the fucking funny joke deal? No. I'm, I'm fucking, fucking telling you, I'm fucking hurt that you lie. I'm I apologize. Hurt that you, I, don't, oh, I don't fucking believe it. Fuck. You understand that? I don't believe it. I feel like the father of a murdered child. Why this fucking guy sits there and says, I apologize. And you know what the murdered child was? No, what? The little baby that I like to call our friendship. Oh, friendship baby. Because that's what this whole thing's about, friendship. It sure the fuck isn't about work. It sure isn't about creativity. It's friendship that feels more like fucking family, where you'll just act like, well, that's my fucking sister, and she's done a lot of horrible things, but what am I going to do? It's blood. That's, that's my relationship with Fess. And this is his relationship with me. Fuck you, fuckstick. It, it's just a cat. Right, here's the thing. Come on. It's what it represents, Polo. It's letting me look like a fool. That cat is me. That cat that he hates is me. And I'm sure he lied to his cat. I, and, and I think he's he, he, probably a part of him who doesn't want to share the pain that he had to go through to part with that cat. So what's cat. he do then? Just sit and watch a show go by? Well, I hope Brian's going to take that next hour. I'm going to sit around and think about how I killed a cat. Oh, fuck. Probably jerking to it, though. Maybe I should just take the rest of the show and rub my leg and just sit here. I would like to do that, Paul. That would be fun for me. Money for nothing. I would love it. Well, I mean... And, and now, wait. I, I have to be lectured about bullying by this man? And this is passive-aggressive bullying. 
I bet when he fucking threw that cat off Niagara Falls oh. one night that he yelled out, I wish this was Ron. Well, that's a quick way to go, though. You got to admit, it's a pretty, pretty merciful way to kill. <laughs> no! He's fucking the next thing that hit the dead cat was jizz. And he's coming down off the fucking <laughs> Fucking awful. Awful. The cat's going to die before it hits the water. No, how what? do you figure that? Because he, he's scared. The, you ever hear of a cliff diver dying before he hit the water? Okay, so it's... That fucking his, cat doesn't know what a cliff is. It's one of his nine lives. He's bad. He's fine. Fine. I'm going to break, throw up with Hicks. Thank you. And be right back. There's a couple things we need to get off our chest to fess. And then, uh, I have to get over this fez thing so we could <sighs> do a show today. Yeah. And, um, it's hard though. It is hard. It's weird. I just walked past the town hall where I heard Oliver Stone saying that that uh, Petraeus was always a fraud. He doesn't understand why people call him a hero. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect fucking thing to say. Um, Scott, you're on the run of Fez show? Yeah, what about uh, Fez? He said he got trapped in a bus over in Staten Island. Never happened. It's another lie. Rich and Yonkers, you're on the Run of Fez show. Ron, did he did he fart himself awake or just wanted to take a shit on your easy chair? I, I think the thing is that he did, in fact, fart himself awake, but he did it on purpose. Oh, that's fucking crude. Uh, Joe and Phil, you're on the Run of Fez. Actually, um, you're, you're wrong to blame Fez for this, because actually the cat was supposed to call and tell you he was moving. I'm sure. Dennis in Baltimore. Hey, Ron. Uh, I love you, man. Um, and you have to be commended, because if, if this truly is not a bit, uh, for the years that you spent with him, uh, I, I was expecting you not to even be on after this bre- that last break. I would have, I, if I were you, I would have left him and said, fuck you, you do the rest of the show. I can't work with you the rest of the day. Well, that would not be being a professional, but there it is. Paul, you said this is all part of process. All right. For instance, everything that if I was with him and could spend now, I've got to get on a plane in a few in a few hours. Don't. I got to. I mean, you, you can't leave. I swear. Seriously, you really. Can't. I got to sell stay. that house. Please if I stay. sell the house, it's fine. I can. I will devote myself to Fez because I think I think it's important. I really do. First of all, if you notice this, I'm asking you please stay. Chris is asking you to please stay. I'm, Look who's not asking. When he asks, then we can start. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. But he needs to... Well, maybe he could go to a hotel. I don't want to maybe. I want to fucking hear you ask him to please stay, because this has been good for all of us. Fez, how are you going to face things if you if you do not have somebody who will confront these little moments in your life that are important to, to, to take note of? Because you're going you're gonna to actually lie to yourself. That's the problem. Polo, would you please stay with me in New York City? I would love to, Fez. It's just I have to sell my house. So, all right. Help him sell the house. So you want him to stay with you? Yes, I would want him to stay until, yeah, until he got on his feet he in does, New York. Well, no, 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 no. You, you don't understand this. This isn't for Paul. This is for you. Yeah. This is for you. This is helping For instance, you. he really enjoyed the, the Stones movie, and I think that he, there was something he could have learned from that, but that they lived in the moment every minute of their lives. Now, he told me he did not enjoy it, but you did. He goes, well, Paul did, because we sat in different sections of the place. Oh. <laughs> That's not a lie. Huh? No, he sat right next to me. Yes, but he said, "Yeah, no." I said, how'd you like the movie? He says, well, Paul liked it. He was laughing and enjoying it many times. He even, you know, leaned over to me. So why would he lie to Proof me? Proof of his gayness, he says, oh, that uh, Brian Jones is, was so cute. True well, enough. That's what he thinks you want to hear, to believe that he's gay. <laughs> I just say he was he was, it's a, it was a very enjoyable movie, it, it, completely entertaining and and very informative. I thought about and but it, the lesson that they, that he could learn specifically is how much they just allowed themselves to enjoy life every minute. 
Well, you know, they put their creativity up top, not their own dark fucking egos. How many other lies is there, Paul? How many other lies? How quickly can you come back? <laughs> I, I, I unfortunately am just a pawn. Uh, How quickly can you come back? God's pawn. I am just... Are you... I look. I swear to God. I, I am. I, my wife threw me out, and I now I have but, a room in this weird mansion. That it's like this huge mansion, and I and he he he's there's like two guys living in it. Mm-hmm. It's huge, and I've got a huge room. But it, I that's my only life right now. Here's the you, thing: you could have a life up here. With you are New York oh. itself. You knew that last night. You yeah. felt it on the streets. Yeah. Um. You did bitch that. I've been that through his I've apartment's been. a little small, yeah. but. You, know. you said you could live with it. Th- it was a good Do trade. you want to know the difference between me and you? Yeah. You've been inside. I've been down there on the street with him because we had dinner. And he points up and says, there's my apartment up there. So we're standing in front of his house. And I'm like, oh, your apartment, right? Never invites me in. Well, he had, he had a much bigger place, but the trade-off was obvious. He is now where he needs to be. No, I understand. I'm saying he doesn't even fucking invite me I into his apartment. Well, that's because he... I, I he, was embarrassed. It was, it's uh, I'm been a disaster. I'm embarrassed. He's it's afraid... the word that you use behind your lies. He's, not clean. Yeah. He's afraid to share his life. Yeah, because I'm a clean freak, and I go into a place with a fucking white glove, and I go over it, because I'm the general betrayer of fucking Clorox. <laughs> And what is life if you're not going to share it? Thank you. I just don't fucking get it anymore. Who, knows all, who knew all this would happen in a fucking week? Like, this is fucking nuts. More than's happened with his fucked up shrink, shrink even if there is one. I should hang up the years. shingle, huh? Uh, Paul Gretzky's Halloween costume is up on the site. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Attractive young lady. And we will be putting up Thanksgiving the right way. Hell yeah. Now, as you know, last year we put that up. Uh, and Fez said that he would do the recipes, but I'm sure went out and bought a dinner. Yeah, and brought it in to That's us. Obvious now. Um, pirate trucker, you're on the Ron Fez show. Ronnie, I think you need to be scared. Do we know that Fez didn't eat and kill the real Todd years ago? I will say this in terms of it, and this is a shoot. I don't know this person. I do not know this person. Holy shit. This person is just doing the, I'm not going to answer, or I'm not going to give back. I don't know him. I do know you, though, Polo, and you've given us a lot this week. Mm. And it's let me know just how the last few years have just been wasted. Of, hey, I know what we can do. The Advice Show. I don't know how he doesn't laugh in our face every time we try to help him. The advice show well, is all lies. <laughs> that actually would be a big breakthrough if he would actually just reveal that side of himself and laugh at this. How much more do you think there is uncovered? Do <laughs> you think he's a kid toucher? <laughs> Whoa. No, no. I, I do not. I do oh, not. there was a no because it had to do with him being attacked, and he, not the fact of what he did to me. So and he now was. He jumps in. He was right about the Elmo guy. He's off, he's off the hook. Oh, yeah, he is. He bought his way out of it. Yeah, it's, he fucking dumb cash in this kid. He has enough. He's Elmo. He's rich enough to fuck kids. He's <laughs> Elmo. <laughs> That's when you know you're untouchable. When you're rich enough to throw money at any problem that comes up. Bez is right about a lot of things. He, was, he called the election. N- yes. No one ever said, oh, Fez is wrong. We just said he lies. Okay. He's certainly not as hel- helpless as he puts I think, on. I think there is a very complex situation. that, the, And then I don't think the therapist, the therapists are getting to the bottom of it. You have, though. Yeah, lickety-split. Yeah. That's, but that's my opinion of therapists, too. And is this so awful, Fez, to have the truth out? No, I'm glad everyone knows because mm. I was, like, ashamed to say that I got rid of the cat. No, no. To be ashamed, you'd have to have actual feelings. You have zero. You got none. And the shame would mean that you, you thought you needed to give something back to the show. Zero. So no one believes that. Now, we know that you didn't want to be caught, but it wasn't for anything other more than I want to do things easily and without there being any payment on my part. And that's where we are. 
Thank God for Paul O. These are some fucking epic troops. Well, I troop felt bombs. odd about, uh, you know, and these were just two small facts that I just felt odd about. Two of about. many. That, and I felt bad about actually revealing them to you, but if, 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 if I don't reveal them to you, who sh- what should I do? Right. They're not small facts, Paul. There's no cat. That's a giant one. That's gigantic. I... I'm not trying to blow this out of proportion, but this is the biggest thing that's ever happened in the history of the world. Bigger than the moon landing? There's yeah. no and moon all landing. Of the stone that's cool. Yeah, it's here. To know that. I just saw such a weird moment. I'm not going to bring it up because <laughs> I'm a fellow broadcaster, but it was the strangest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> uh, Cody, Houston, you're on my face. This reminds me of in White Men Can't Jump. You're the Woody Harrelson character where you think you and Fez are running games, oh, you know, no. doing your thing, and then Fez is working you long term. Yeah. You know? Well, there's an old saying is you don't kind of con, but Fez doesn't believe in that. Um, Zach, you're on the run of Fez show. Hey, guys. Hey, Ronnie. Um, yeah, the the lying thing, it has to be your anxiety. Like, do you feel like you say things like you still have the cat? So, because you think people are automatically going to think that you did this terrible thing to the cat? He did something awful to the cat. Yeah. Yeah. Something. No. Oh, thank I you. No, I didn't. Thank do you. I was answering his other question. No. What do you want? Delay? <laughs> did you at least kill the cat fast? I didn't. I oh, didn't did you cat. at least? Did you at least kill the cat fast, yes or no? I would say no. A I know it, that he fucking tortured that cat. Like he's torturing me. Like he's torturing my soul. See, like they killed the, the oxen in Apocalypse Hicks, Now. Yeah. Go down to the fucking kitchen. Get the big knife. The big knife. And bring it here. I'm going to stab myself in the heart. Okay. What's left of my heart? Oh, God. I'm going to cut it out and carve it out. No, no, Chris, don't. See, that's what a person would do if they cared about anything other than I, themselves. I, I was about to go get it before Paul. He, no! wants, he wants to do it in my heart. What the same thing he did to the fucking fantasy football no! fantasy league. Don't let him, Chris. Gotcha. As he yells out, gotcha. Now he wants to fucking give me a, a fucking pound. Give me a pound if you fucking got me in the fucking heart. Give me a pound. No, I don't want a pound, pound over that. Give me a pound. Because you know deep in your heart what you did. No, I know you got I the, lie. You got the fucking piece of shit, finally. Finally got that fucking prick. How many other lies, Polo? <laughs> I want you to f- act like you're going home, but follow him. <laughs> Pete, Please. in Illinois, you're on running Fez. Hey, guys. Yeah. Fez, did you vote for Romney? No, I voted for Obama. How do we know? You don't because it's a secret ballot in this country. Everything in you is a secret ballot. Thanks, guys. This is a secret. God, I must look like the biggest city in the world. Uh, Dylan, you're on the Run of Fez show. <laughs> James, Louisiana, you're on the run for the show. Hey, Roddy, this whole time you've been busting off Fez for sniping. I just want to let you know this crosshair has been on your back the whole time. It's true. Oh, God. No! And I never even heard it. You know, you know, it's it happens so fast you never even hear it. There one moment, gone the next. Huh? You're like alive at one point, and then you get shot with a sniper in the head or, or chest. I can't. Why are you fucking tilting your head like that? My fucking back really hurts. Goddamn chiropractor didn't really do much. All right. It felt like he fucking put a goddamn sand over my back and said, all right, 
Get some x-rays. All right, so that's the point. You missed the stones just so you could go see this witch doctor. And it's that's it. Doc- yeah, I know I was- fucked up, Paul. All right, all right get okay. off oh, my that's dick. Right. I'm trying to help. He's been good for you. I'm trying to help. Helping me. I'm helping. You needed to get that off your chest. You kept saying, no, it was important. It I totally had to go was. I'm in a lot of pain. But no, the stones, was- I had the but story. I oh, my God, right. Paul. <laughs> now, this uh, got sent to us from Liz. It said, I, I, I emailed you looking out for Fez, worrying that the listeners would give him hell, hell for not telling him that he moved. Worried that his cat wasn't going to be taken care of. And this is what I get, a knife in the back. Wow. How could you, Fez? I'll let you answer, Liz. Because I, was, I wasn't ready to tell anyone because I was worried that people would think I was a horrible person, but that ended up happening in any way. Can I just tell you something that you made so me I realize? Should've just, I should have just uh, told. Yeah. I, sh- I should have just let everyone know what I was doing. Well, you do need to apologize to Jay and Dennis now, you know. That had nothing to do with the cat. Okay. Why do you call him Jay? I mean, we just call people by their initials. <laughs> I'm going to ask C whether we should do that or not. What up, R? I'm going to just say this, because I, I want to go to break again. I just want to restart the show and act like none of this ever happened. Because now I'm going to start lying. Now I'm going to be the fucking liar. But I do want to take a moment to say, Shower Bench, everything that you have said about Fez is 100% true. Saw this shit coming, man. I want to apologize to the people that I stuck up for Fez about. And I just want to say to Dennis Joyce, please pull that shit again. (laughs) Please. Give me a fucking reason. (laughs) That's my apology to him. (laughs) And I fucking mean that. Um... We probably should. Let's just break and restart the show and act like none of this uncomfortability has ever happened. We'll just bring up topics. Uh, No more lie talk. That's good. And then after the show today, I want to sit down with Rob Cross and talk about the future. Talk to little RC. RC Cola down there. Maybe Chuck Roast has an idea what we can do. But Fez, you got me, big man. Savor the flavor, because the next one's coming back at you. That wasn't my intention at all. And yet, that's what you were able to pull off through your list of lies. It wasn't your intention when we were talking to you on the air about the cat. It wasn't the intention when we were trying to find some place for the cat to go. That wasn't your intention to make me look like a fool. They keep saying it over and over. Or when I took you all the way out to the fucking nut hut and was asking about the cat in the car. Oh, and we're no! Not in- yes! Because I was going to put Coke in the fucking house. Kokomo Joe was going to go down there. This is just too fucking far. And he was telling me why we sat in a traffic jam. The cat is fine. Believe me. Last night after Polo told me this, I spent the entire night tossing and turning. Who knew what and when? Oh, shit. Man. This is an Oliver Stone movie. It is. It just gets deeper. Mel Gibson time. <laughs> Henry Gibson beat Mel Gibson. Finally fucking happened. Thank you, Obama, son. Made this a country of lies. Maybe it's time for this fucking show to secede from the union. We start doing out of Belize. Where <laughs> it's us, John Mayer. Our guest today, John McAfee. <laughs> Again, <laughs> John McAfee should stop in later. He's gonna have some bath salts. We're all gonna put it up our asses. We have no extradition rights, so he'll be in a lot this week. Oh. All right, so we break, and then no more talk of this. Paulo, if you bring it up again, I'll go fucking crazy. Fez, if you bring it up again, I'll go nuts. Chris, you can bring it up anytime you want. Okay. I'll ex- I might exercise that. Because right. all of our necks feel good, and that's no, great. No, mine is fucking sharp shooting pain. 100% of our necks are fine. No. That's Could you do me a favor and yeah. carry a basket of my clothes down to the river <sighs> on your head? That's going to really fuck me up. And then bring me back a giant thing of water. I, I can do neither. <laughs> I'm unable to do that. I could barely stand without fucking slouching over like a fucking creep. We'll be right back. It is, in fact, still the Ron and Fez show. <laughs> 